Good afternoon all and welcome to today's strength and conditioning class where the focus is on speed, agility, quickness and conditioning. Put your hand up high if you've never done this type of work before. Where are my athletes? Any athletes here? Anyone play sports? Alright, sweet. Cool, cool. Uh, so, what is speed? Does anyone have a definition for me? Come on, Christine, you've been here. Velocity. Max velocity. Yes. Alright, so uh, I'm gonna go through a little bit of education work here guys, just to give you an understanding of what we're trying to achieve in today's session, okay? When you understand what you're trying to achieve, then you can actually put the processes in place and okay, give you a little bit of motivation, a bit of drive to uh, get you to the point that we want to. So what we're looking at here is the force velocity curve. So force is the ability to produce uh, magnitude of force, the amount of force that we can produce. So think Strength, if I'm doing a one rep max deadlift, this is my magnitude of force. It's high amounts of force, it might be grinding strength. It's not gonna be fast, okay? Down this side here, we have velocity. Okay, think speed. All right, strength here, speed here, power is right in the middle there. Okay, combination of strength and speed. We're gonna be working on that on Thursday. But today, we're working on velocity. So this is how fast we can produce force, okay, so again, speed. All right, so why is this important, guys? This is because, it's important because uh, any athletic development requires speed. Think about footwork, okay? Fighters, yeah, your footwork sets you up to be able to utilize your skills. You need to get in and out, inflict damage, uh, deflect damage, okay, and then also be able to change direction, come from different angles. All right, footwork sets you up to be able to use your skills. So today, we're gonna to be going through uh, a warm up. We're gonna raise core temperature, heart rate, respiratory rate, blood flow, viscous fluid, etc., etc. Then we're gonna go through some activation work, some mobilization work, and then some potentiation work, which is gonna lead us into uh, today's session. We're gonna start with some quickness drills, okay, which is gonna be done over on the stairs. We, have, we need to be able to move in multiple directions to produce high amounts of force, all right. Then we're gonna go into some speed and acceleration work, which will be some sprints. Then we'll finish with uh, some conditioning at the end of the session, that'll be uh, dependent on how the rest of the session rolls out. Likely only gonna only going to be about four to six, maybe four to eight minutes. All right, any questions on that so far? All right, cool, cool. All right, guys, first exercise, we're facing the uh, turf. Once we get out to the turf, we're gonna uh, jog backwards, okay? First exercise is Engaging those hamstrings, drag the heels to the back side, okay? Out to the turf, then backwards. Think about your mechanics as well. Next exercise, high knees. We're going in front. Again, think about everything. Moving front to back. Go. Next exercise, turn and face the other chin. Go to the side step side. Once you get to the turf, turn around, walk back. Normal walk back. We want to pick the intensity up. As we start increasing the intensity, the duration will decrease. Okay, rest here will increase. Next exercise, high knees. Out to the turf, then walk back. Go. That's it. Now let's start ramping it up. Start picking up that pace. Walk back, walk back. Loosen up the front of the hips. Get 
One side's a little bit tighter than the other. Spend a couple of extra pulses there. A little bit of extra work on the, uh, the individual sides that you need it. Go through the front of the hips. Now we're going to work through the back of the hips. Next exercise. I'm going to plant my left foot. Brings my hips back. Hips go back. Chest goes forward. Sweep. 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 Step. 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 Switch legs. And the heel. Hinge back. Sweep. 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 Again, with my left hand swings tight on my right. I might do five sweeps there. And only three on the right. Okay, once I get to the top, then make a dynamic step, step, switch, switch. So think about your alignment, okay? Anytime we're running, we want to think about our alignment and our posture. We want everything moving in one direction. We don't want the legs kicking across the body. We don't want the arms swinging away from the body. On the way back, guys, walking hamstring, stretch, stretch. Just sweeping through, increasing range of movement as we go. Next exercise, guys, we're going to work through activation of abductors. Okay, we're going to switch off abductors. What are we going to do? Face the other chin. Okay, I'm going to raise my right leg up. Keep my hips square, my shoulders square. I'm not opening up to the toe. That right? okay, my hip flexor. Okay, I'm going to get my abductors working. Get my hips on the outside of the hip. Hold, two, three. Then drop down into a lateral punch. Hold, two, three. Going back, opposite way, three second pause, three second pause. Strengthen and lengthen, strengthen and lengthen. Once you hit the curve, guys, facing the same direction, going back. This time we're going to strengthen through the left hip, lengthen through the right adductor, right groin. Okay, so what I'm going to do is step forward, go into single leg Romanian deadlift. Get our chest and ankle are connected. Hold. One, two, three. Then, boom. Swing through. Step, step, step. In. Hold. One, two, three. Swing through. Swing through. Make it dynamic. In. Swing through. Step, step. Alrighty guys, so let's organise ourselves into groups of four, okay, people that we want to race against, ideally around about the same uh, speed as yourself. What we're going to do first is go into our lateral base movements, we're going to do six reps here, then we're going to go forward movement, six reps there, okay, then we're going to head back in the gym and go into our sprint work. Alright, so let's have one, two, three, and four, four. While in behind guys, what we're going to do now is the lateral movement. We're going from the bottom to the top of the stairs as quick as possible. This is what it's going to look like. Okay, we're going to do six laps here. We're all going to face the same direction. Down the gym. Okay, very important that the hips and the shoulders stay square. I see a lot of people start turning the hips and doing this. Okay, that tells me straight away that there's a little bit of weakness in the hips. Okay, and they don't have the ability to move laterally. It's important as humans, we should be able to move front to back. Side to side and rotate. Yeah, those are our three planes of movement. That's why we, tra we train them, that's why we practice them. Alright, so this is what it's going to look like. Three, two, one, go. Two feet on every step. In this middle part here, I'm going to transition to the other side. Take a couple of steps, pass. There's people coming up behind you, peel off on the outside, walk back down. Okay, on the second rep. We're going to go probably every 40 seconds, 50 seconds or so on the second rep. What we're going to do is face the opposite direction. Okay. Lead to the right. Heel off. Walk back down. We're going to do that six times. Six times. Then we're going to go forward. Any questions on that? Six times. Six times. Yeah. Just six. Just six. Any questions? All right, again, guys, the goal is intensity, is to get from the bottom to the top as fast as possible. It should take us six to eight seconds. How many people? Nobody. <laughs> Don't jinx it. Six to eight seconds to get to the top, guys. We'll have about 40 to 50 seconds less. We'll go again. Then we'll have a couple minutes break. And then go forward running. Any questions on that? All right, first group ready. Go. Hey guys, gather around. Uh, we're going to use this time, have a little bit of a stretch, do what you need to do. 
Okay, we've got about another two minutes or so before we get back on the stairs. Okay, uh, those of you that have been here for the last couple of weeks, I keep adding, 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 educating you guys. Okay, I'm doing that for a reason. Who remembers how we can increase our speed? How do we get faster? There's two main ways. Strength. Alright, strength is one of the main ways that we get faster. Okay, we can increase stride frequency, uh, stride frequency and stride length. That is how you get faster. Okay, improving your relative strength, the amount of force that you can push into the ground or generate into the ground is going to improve or increase your stride length. Okay, that means that if I'm running a thousand meters, instead of it taking a thousand steps, for example, it might only take me 950 steps. So now I'm much more efficient through that movement. I'm taking less steps to cover the same amount of ground. That is done by strength. Make sense? All right, cool, cool. Next one, stride frequency. How do we do that? Speed. Just like we're doing right here. Again, if I've got a higher turnover rate, then, and uh, more strength, I'm taking now 950 steps. Okay, but instead of those 950 steps taking me However long, okay, now I've reduced that. Okay, my stride frequency is better, my stride length is better. Now I'm faster, I'm covering a lot more ground, okay, with a lot more efficiency in a lot faster time. Make sense? Yes. Yeah. Alright, cool, cool. So that's what we're working on right now, guys, is our stride frequency. Okay. Our strength days, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we're increasing strength, which is going to improve our stride length. Okay, after we do this next drill, we're going to do some sprint work. So we're going to put all of this together to be a little bit of a test, a test of objectives. Any questions on that so far? All right, sweet. Come. Let's get those same groups up again. This time we're moving forward. Okay, all I want you to do is hit one foot on every step. Okay, the focus is on generating high amounts of force very rapidly, getting up to our top speed as fast as we can, and then maintaining that all the way through. Again, let's think about our tempo and our efficiency. Okay, it's gonna be three, two, one, go. Bottom to top, one for every step. All right, so you can see in the middle there, I'm really trying to keep that same tempo. All right, my footwork in the middle sets me up for the next tier. Any questions on that? All right, we're gonna do six reps here again, about 30 to 40 seconds rest in between. We should be able to get through this a little bit quicker. Anyone not ready? All right, six reps here, ready, go. All righty guys, so this is our sprint track right here, okay? If we have a look at this palm tree right here, about 10 meters away from me, that is the start line, okay? What I want you guys to do is go through some tempo runs, build it up from that palm tree out to probably this tree right here in line with that pole, okay? Roughly about 18 to 20 meters, Build up, build up, build up. Once you hit that pole there, I'm gonna let you guys decide what your top speed or, or maximal effort sprint is, okay? You can either hit that first tree, which is roughly about seven meters. You can hit the second tree, which is roughly about 14 to 15 meters, okay? Or you can hit that third tree, which is roughly about 25 meters. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys decide how far you wanna run here, okay? But the goal is to Tempo run up. Think about going through the gears over the first 20 meters. Okay, starting first, second, third, fourth. By the time you hit that first with this tree here, you should be at top speed. Okay, if you can maintain top speed for 25 meters, you'll go to the third tree, the big thick one. Okay, if you only want to go 15 meters, go to the second tree. If you want to go five, uh, seven meters, go to the first tree. Okay, all I want you to do is hit maximum effort for that desired distance. Okay, then on the other side, Come back down through the gears. Fourth, third, second, first. Okay. So by the time you get to the wall down the end there, you should be back in first gear. Heel off on the outside. Okay, so you walk back down this portion of the track. Once you get to the end, work with your partner, you guys are gonna be racing. Working in pairs, guys. We're gonna do six laps here. Six laps, building up, max effort, building down, walk back recovery. Any questions on that? All right, now, uh, for anyone that did Big Buddha this morning, for example, okay, you might only want to do three to four laps. That's absolutely fine. Adjust your 
reps accordingly, okay? If you're still fresh and feeling good, hit six. If you're like, man, my legs are fucked, hit three. It's fine, it's all about intensity, it's all about intent. Any questions on that so far? All right, we've got about 10 minutes left in the session, guys. We should be able to get all of our sets done within that 10 minutes, okay? So, let's start moving on down, guys. Start moving on down. Choose a tree that you want to run to. Build up to that point. Work with your partner. It's going to be a race, guys. Yeah. Good. Let's go, ladies. That's it. Build, build, build. Hit it. Yeah, good, lads. You. That's it. Punch it out, boys. Yeah, fellas. Hey. Beast. Good ladies, build it up, build it up, hit it. 